My name's Caffeine and I paint walls. I paint walls because it's fun, because you get to be outdoors and experience different contexts and different people and different environments. Um, it's a challenge to see if you can do the best you can on an, like an unusual surface. It takes you around the world. Um, and it's a conversation, you know, between you and people you might not have otherwise met. I love drawing horses, I love animals in motion, so I would do that because I didn't have a horse as a kid, so you make your own. I love this wall, this is perfect wall. Like it's, um, it's like a, it's a brick wall that's got character, but it's not too rough to be able to put detail on. And it's a cool location. Like when I first saw this, like, oh, look at this lane. This lane's got age and character and history and stories. Public space is gendered male. And I'm aware that there are an awful lot more um, street artists that identify as male than as female or as non-binary. So I think it's really important um, that we literally hold space for these artists and these skills and these conversations. Um, because it's not just for the artist, it's for you know half the population. Part of the design is out of practicality. I wanted something where the detail was down low. I've had fun sort of making a really textured, layered background. And there are messages under the layers of paint, which is part of the process for me as well. And this sort of pose, the horses don't do this. He's not eating. He's got his head right between his legs there. So it's like bowing, but when you notice a horse bow, they normally have one foot in front to balance as well. So it's a really physically hard pose for a horse to do. It is possible. Yeah, I do like that it is based in reality, but that it's something that looks odd. And I wanted it to be an image that would make people stop and take notice. Um, the horse has long been known as a symbol of uh, nobility and grace and strength and pride. Is this animal being forced to do this? Uh, he doesn't have a head collar on. There's no, there's no sign of tension in his body. Now, is this around control and coercion or is this trust? Um, so I kind of love that juxtaposition of, you know, the power and grace and the coercion and control. Um, and somebody asked me a couple of days ago, what am I going to call it? And I think they actually meant the horse's name, but it made me stop and think. And I'm like, yeah, yield, yield. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm having a ball. Like it's gentle. The weather is gentle. People here are lovely. It's such a lovely experience painting this wall and being able to have the time and the freedom to sort of explore colour and tone in a way that, um, it's been a while, so I'm just really loving being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, City of Geelong.